In computer networking, a service set is a set consisting of all the devices associated with a consumer or enterprise i.e. E802.11 wireless local area network. The service set can be local, independent, extended or mesh. Basic service set The basic service set provides the basic building block of an 802.11 wireless LAN. In infrastructure mode, a single access point together with all associated stations is called a BSS. Not to be confused with the coverage of an access point, known as the basic service area. The access point acts as a master to control the stations within that BSS. The simplest BSS consists of one access point and one station. The IEEE 802.11's amendment defined an additional protocol for wireless mesh networks. Only mesh STAs participate in mesh functionalities such as formation of the mesh BSS, path selection, and forwarding. Accordingly, a mesh STA is not a member of an IBSS or an infrastructure BSS. Consequently, mesh STAs do not communicate with non-mesh STAs. However, instead of existing independently, an MBSS can interconnect with other BSSs through the DS then mesh STAs can communicate with non-mesh STAs through a logical architectural component called a mesh gate. With 802.11, one can alternatively set up an ad hoc network of client devices without a controlling access point. The result is called an IBSS. Basic Service Set Identification Each BSS is uniquely identified by a basic service set identification. For a BSS operating in infrastructure mode, the BSS ID is the MAC address of the wireless access point generated by combining the 24-bit organization unique identifier and the manufacturer's assigned 24-bit identifier for the radio chipset in the WAP. The BSS ID is the formal name of the BSS and is always associated with only one BSS. The SS ID is the informal name of the BSS. A BSS is functionally a contention domain as a local or workgroup network is functionally a broadcast domain. In an ESS each BSS still has its BSS ID, however, the entire ESS uses only one SS ID, now called an ESS ID. For an IBSS, the BSS ID is a locally administered MAC address generated from a 46-bit random number. The individual group bit of the address is set to zero. The universal local bit of the address is set to 1. A BSS ID with a value of all 1s is used to indicate the wildcard BSS ID, usable only during probe requests or for communications that take place outside the context of a BSS. Service Set Identification Each BSS or ESS is identified by a service set identifier, a 1 to 32 byte string. This is normally a human-readable string and thus commonly called the network name. In an IBSS, the SSID is chosen by the client device that starts the network, and broadcasting of the SSID is performed in a pseudo-random order by all devices that are members of the network. Security of SSID hiding, as a purported security enhancement, some access points allow a user to inhibit the broadcasting of their SSIDs, a tactic known as network cloaking. A station may then only join a BSS after the associated SSID has been specified explicitly. This tactic acts as a deterrent to the extent that it impedes casual wireless snooping. Network cloaking does not stop a determined attack on the network and therefore cannot replace other security practices. If this practice is relied on to protect a network it could be viewed as a form of security through obscurity. Additionally, devices which are configured to connect to a network which does not broadcast its SSID may try to connect to the network by broadcasting for the network, a behavior which reveals the SSID to wireless snoopers in the vicinity of the device. Extended Service Set An extended service set is a set of two or more interconnected wireless BSSs that share the same SSID security credentials and integrated wired local area networks that appears a single BSS to the logical link control layer at any station associated with one of those BSSs which facilitates mobile IP and fast secure roaming applications. The BSSs may work on the same channel, or work on different channels to boost aggregate throughput. Notes References
IEEE standard for local and metropolitan networks, specific requirements. Part 11, Wireless LAN Medium Access Control and Physical Less Specifications. IEEE STD 802.11-2007. Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. June 12, 2007. ISBN A0-7381-5656-6. Retrieved July 6, 2011. A IEE Standard for Local and Metropolitan Networks, Specific Requirements. Part 11, Wireless LAN Medium Access Control and Physical Less Specifications. Amendment 6, Wireless Access in Vehicular Environments. IEEE STD 802.11 P2010. Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. July 15, 2010. ISBN A978-0-7381-6324-1. Retrieved January 6, 2012. A. Vasseur, Jean Philippe. Dunkles, Adam. Interconnecting Smart Objects with IP, The Next Internet. Morgan Kaufman. ISBN A 9780123751000. Retrieved 